How is everybody doing today? Mike here from Bush Green. So, uh, got another uh, video installment for my uh, shop series. I know I haven't made one in a little while, uh, just because not too much has been going on. Uh, right now, we're just kind of working on uh, changing some plans, which we, we have. I'll, I'll talk about that in a few minutes. And uh, yeah, I just did some cleaning up around the yard. Uh, I got uh, another job to do today. Uh, just to get ready for a demo and, and all that fun stuff. So, so yeah, so it's Friday morning. Um, let's go outside here. I am off today. I'm just going to be working around uh, my property today. So, so I'll just show you guys uh, what I've been doing here. So I needed access at the side of the house to... Uh, get into the backyard with uh, machines, vehicles, uh, trailers and stuff. And uh, I know in the other videos I was, I was showing you I was taking down uh, the gate and all that. And so I did. Ooh, sun's in my eyes now. So I just have a safety fence up there right now. So yeah, the truck does fit in the, in the backyard now. Um, haven't tried fitting the dump trailer yet, but pretty sure that will work. I did measure. It's pretty much as wide as uh, my truck with the mirrors out and my truck makes makes it through there just barely <laughs> basically uh, a little closer towards the front that's the uh, the shortest part and then it kind of pies out between my house and uh, the fence and it gets wider as it goes so I shouldn't have a problem with uh, gonna look out for uh, dog poop I gotta clean up back here <laughs> before I I, uh, I get to work. So, um, yeah, with the uh, with the shed here, my dad's shed, it's still here. Still got that form back there, which uh, things have changed. So, since I seen you guys all last, uh, cleaned out this place. The power is still running here. I got to turn off the power. There's a bit of an echo in here now. This is the first time I've seen it this empty. Took everything down, as you can see. Remember how messy it was before? Yeah. So, uh, I'm surprised there's no critters in here right now with, uh, with the openings there and stuff. So, yeah, so we pretty much, uh, yeah, we got it all uh, emptied out here, ready for demo. Uh, the plan is uh, we're supposed to demo the shed uh, actually tomorrow, but. Um, we, we do have rain in the forecast for the weekend. They're showing thunderstorms for tomorrow. Um, also, some other family plans came up. So, so I'm gonna probably a week from today, uh, next Friday, uh, a week from today. Yeah, like I said. Um, as far as I know, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm I'm gonna rent an excavator. So I have been looking because I I'm talking to. I thought about it for the last few years, you know, either a skid steer or an excavator. I thought about investing in one, you know, because uh, there is work around here for it. Um, um, you know, I've had customer requests for stuff that yeah, I could have used an excavator to uh, rip out all those shrubs and regrade, you know, and make a new garden and whatever is more efficient. So it is kind of in the works. I am pricing out uh, some mini, mini uh, excavators and stuff, but I don't think I'll have anything done by uh, a week from today. So. I'm pretty sure I'm going to uh, uh, rent a, a three and a half ton excavator with a thumb and uh, that'll be pretty helpful to uh, to get the shed down here and uh, pick up the pieces and, and put it in the in the dump trailer and stuff so I uh, I always wanted to uh, run an excavator and uh, I kind of learned how to run one from watching YouTube videos <laughs> that's what we all do nowadays don't we you know I'm, I'm pretty quick learner so Anyway, as you can see, something else is missing there behind me too. Where that lilac tree is, it used to have a plastic shed. I have moved it now. So, moved everything over to like right there. Yeah, right behind me. Okay, so I, I moved that over just to uh, make room. Um, yeah, with the shed here, what we're going to do, uh, originally we're going to uh, do a 12 by 20 building. We're doing 14 by 20 now. So, and it's going to be pointing the other way. So instead of pointing 
towards uh, my house and the patio there. It's going to be turned around and the entrance will be, you know, coming this way right here, right? Um, and it's going to be coming out a little more and a little more space between the fence. There, the back fence and the side fence will be four feet going around there. So, with that being said, that lilac tree right there, yeah, this one right here, whoop, it's still alive because we do have problems with uh, things growing back here. We used to have pine trees all back here and there's a lot of roots under the ground. But at the same time with the excavator, that's why I want to try and dig out back here to some roots. So we have to relocate that lilac. So what we're going to do is uh, put it beside that spruce. Yeah, there's a spruce right there. So we're going to put it around right there, you know, in the yard. And uh, this maple, it should be about four or five times bigger than it is. It could, all these got planted in 2013 and uh, got diseased or something, but not healthy at all. I don't know if any of you tree experts can, can tell me what's going on with this. Here, I'll try and bring this closer. As you can see, it's all starting to rot out. This tree is not happy at all. Um, so, the plan today is uh, to save some room in my dump trailer when we do demo of the shed. I'm taking down this tree. So I'm taking down the maple tree today. I'm gonna be driving in here with my, uh, I got my dump truck here. So I'm gonna bring the dump truck in. I'm gonna cut that down, cut it up into pieces and, and put it in the truck. Uh, I'm just gonna leave a stump. And then once I do have that excavator, I'm gonna use the excavator to pull everything out of the ground uh, and clean it all up. So that's what my plan is for today. I got to the uh, electrical. Oh. Well, you can see that down there, the wire. So I gotta take it in these uh, gardens. I'm gonna, oh, it's not much, it's a couple of hostas, three hostas. We got some bulbs in there too, tulips and stuff. So I gotta relocate all that stuff too. Yeah. Okay, so that's what the plan is. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go from there. I'm gonna take that tree down. We'll see you in a little bit.
All right, so here we are. Oh my God, I'm exhausted just from that little tree. <laughs> Doesn't help with the heat too. It's getting pretty hot. It's almost 9 a.m. now on Friday. So other than uh, the chain on the chainsaw probably should be uh, sharpened a bit. <laughs> it, uh, it worked all right to get that done. I know it's a little choppy. I'm not a lumberjack. But as you've seen, I made it fall exactly where I wanted it to fall. It fell right there. It did not go that way. It did not hit that fence. And it did not hit that shed. And it sure didn't hit my truck. So I think I did something right. That's not bad. Just practicing here in my own yard. Well, this tree had to come down anyway. So the uh, good old uh, steel MS250 did its job. It's a nice shot right there. So yeah, so handy uh, being able to get into the yard here. It's the first time a vehicle has been back here. So I think what I'm going to do when I build a gate down there, let, let me see if I can zoom in there. Yeah. When I build another gate there, I'm not going to do it at the farthest point there because that's the, the narrowest uh, area, right? As it kind of pies out coming in. I'm going to come a lot more farther back, probably where around the white fence is. And uh, I'm going to make one gate. I even thought about getting like a corral gate with a wheel on it that you can swing open and it rolls just in case I did want to drive back here. Why not, right? So the dump trailer, look at that. Coming in handy again. Fit everything right in there. Easy, easy. So, landscape's looking a little different here. Getting ready for the big build. I'm looking forward to it. All right, oh. Warm out here already, 9 a.m. I'm soaked, totally soaked. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. So another thing I just wanted to talk about quick too, just now that I can see that building in the background even more since uh, that maple that kind of died on us uh, is gone. Our whole goal here is of turning the, the, the shop around the other way. Uh, we're gonna block out a lot of that building from uh, when we're on our patio relaxing. Last thing we wanna see is that sign. I don't know why they have to put up big signs like that. You know, everyone has to look at the signs in their backyards. Anyway, there's not much we can do about it. So what our goal is that uh, we want to cover up, uh, we're going to do landscaping back here. I'm not sure if that little shed is going to stay there, uh, right there. It's just there for now, out of the way. Um, we're going to landscape, have some kind of brush or something taller than the fence uh, to block that building you know just to kind of make it more private so we can enjoy ourselves back here but uh, the shop definitely uh, being turned around the other way and uh, being 20 feet uh, by 14 it's gonna block a lot of that there and then with that lilac tree being moved out of the way there too so so yeah so hopefully uh, you enjoy the video and uh, we're coming along here slowly but surely we don't want to rush anything we want to make sure we do everything right so uh, leave comments down below what you think and uh, be nice to everyone do something nice for someone and I want to wish peace to everyone <laughs>